decades, aerospace manufacturer Pratt & Whitney has had ties to the Wichita Falls community in the form of a repair facility on Hammond Road. It opened in 1997. Right now, the facility employs 125 Texomans, and that number is expected to get even higher. Officials with Pratt & Whitney and the city of Wichita Falls and the chamber, they made a major announcement today. Josh Hoggard was there. He joins us now with more. Josh. Yeah, that's right, Daryl and Lauren, it is official. The Wichita Falls Pratt & Whitney plant will soon be expanding, creating new jobs, boosting the local economy, and making the local facility the center of Pratt & Whitney's operations worldwide. In October, the city approved a $2.75 million forgivable loan for the company as a part of a total $10 million project for Pratt & Whitney to expand that facility there on Hammond Road. And officials for the company and for the city of Wichita Falls agree it's a complete game changer. Pratt & Whitney Wichita Falls is a, a jewel in uh, the crown of the customer service organization at Pratt Canada. So for me it was a, not, you know, a natural decision to invest in this uh, facility in this community. So when you have a great workforce and a local government that says we'll move heaven and earth to make it happen, that's when you get projects like this. Maxwell Breck with Pratt & Whitney Canada said all of the coding that is done on all Pratt & Whitney parts will now happen in Wichita Falls, putting our city on the worldwide manufacturing map. And Ron Kitchens with the Chamber said this is a great case study that the city can use in attracting other businesses to Wichita Falls. And all 30 jobs are going to be created over the next few years. It's going to add a total of $1.5 million in salaries to our local economy. Officials with the Pratt & Whitney Canada said the expansion will be completed sometime in 2025. Of course, stick with us on air and online for updates on that. This is a really awesome thing for Wichita Falls. Yeah, That's really for is. sure. Okay, Josh, thank you so much.